Good morning. We are bracing for our next round of winter weather coming our way later this afternoon and tonight. Until then, it's nice and quiet. This is our view in Grand Forks. Just a little bit of wind moving our flags at Home of Economy. You can see the exhaust coming off the building. This is one of our coldest spots here at the valley this morning, but it is pretty quiet for many locations here to start off the day today. So let's take a look at some visibility reports. First of all, we've got some of visibility down a bit in places like Langdon, back over toward Cooperstown, we're between a mile to two miles visibility in those locations. Oaks is checking in at about three miles, so we might have a little bit of flurry activity going on in some of these spots. Most of us doing just so fine right now, just okay uh, here in the valley with mostly cloudy skies. You can see there is a little bit of snow showing up right along the international border up toward Langdon in the light blue colors here. So a couple of areas where we might already be seeing a light flake or two, but the main events coming later on. It's well to the west still just now making its way into parts of western North Dakota, mainly north of the border as well. And this all is moving eastward as we head further into the day today. Here's a look at our wind speeds. They are not super strong here, but we do have some areas where we're looking at wind getting into that 20 mile per hour range already this morning. The Langdon area oaks both checking in with steady speeds at about 20 miles per hour right now. So there might be a little bit of drifting on some of those uh, areas where we've got that snow that's still fresh and still easily lofted here this morning. And that's a concern for when those winds pick up later on today and tonight. Wind currently out of the east. Our temperatures, here's a look at them. We are at zero in Langdon. Grand Forks last hour was at two below. We're now up to two above, so we've gone up a degree or two actually four degrees to be exact. Nine in Fargo right now. It's 10 in Fergus Falls and in Wapaton. Most of us in the single digits above zero. Wind chills uh, looking okay, but it is a little bit chillier up to the northwest where our wind is stronger. Langdon right now checking in at 22 below, and that's an area that's going to be colder than other places today leading up to this system. So I want to focus right now on the snow and the wind combination over the next 24 or so hours here. So we're not showing you our temperatures on the map here just yet, but we'll show you our high for today coming up in just a bit. We're looking at cloud cover here this morning. We're looking at wind that's not too troublesome just yet. Eventually it does start turning a little more northeasterly and eventually northerly today as this system moves in. You can see by noon we are watching that snow starting to take over in our western counties. Timing of this could be a little bit sooner than what we're seeing on our forecast model, but overall into the late afternoon, eastern North Dakota, you should be watching for the potential for snow. Devil's Lake, the Carrington, Jamestown Highway 281 corridor area, that's where we're looking at the potential for snow first and up along the international border. Uh, that will be early afternoon into late afternoon. And then by drive time tonight, if you're in Fargo, Grand Forks, you'll need to watch out for the potential for some snow and the main activity really filling in as we head into the later evening hours and into the nighttime hours tonight. All the while, the wind steadily picking up. So we're seeing gusts into the 20s. We're seeing some gusts into the 30s coming up for 10 o'clock tonight. And so once that starts to happen, we're really dealing with some visibility problems with wind gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour and ongoing falling snow and that fresh snow we've had recently that really hasn't had a chance to crust over uh, gets picked up and blown around as well. So areas where we're looking at the potential for near blizzard conditions kind of right here, right along the Red River Valley into northeastern North Dakota, that would be the greatest likelihood. Heading into the overnight hours tonight, the wind continues. The snow starts to taper off little by little. So by tomorrow morning at the 8 o'clock hour, just a couple of spotty areas of snow still happening, but the wind still creating problems with blowing and drifting snow. This event more into that two to five inch range for a lot of folks here in the valley. There may be a couple of pockets here. You see that deeper blue uh, there south of Bemidji where we may get a little more. And then there of course will be areas that do get a little bit less as well. But the general uh, forecast here is for that two to five range and wind will make it tough to measure. So good luck with that. We still would appreciate any measurements you do happen to get with this event. And of course the cold coming our way too. So today going to be nice and mild comparatively speaking 15 degrees and then the cold really takes hold coming up into next week or end of this week and next week. So more on that, more details on the cold weather to come in just a bit. So if you can do the dog walk in the morning instead of the uh, evening when you get home from work. I think that's a great idea. All right. Thank you, Lisa.